this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example 4 from section 6-4 in the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. The goal of this video is to look at geometric sequences and exponential functions, and we're going to kind of look at them side by side, just so you can kind of make, make an understanding here. So let's go ahead and let's start with f of x equals a times b of x. Right. Now, recall that our a is our initial value here. And then recall that b is uh, that common ratio. So if we have a word problem and we can identify our initial value and our common ratio, then we are all set to write it as a formula, all right? So with this exponential function, let's read the problem. So it says the number of subscribers to a blog doubles each week. How can the trend in subscri subscribers be modeled, all right? So here's this lady with her blog. She's looking and it says, in your first week, we had five subscribers. Okay, so that 5 here, that's our initial value. Okay, so right there, that's A. So where the A is in the formula, I'm going to put the number 5. Now the, the B is hard for people to see because there's not another number written out. But see how it says that it doubles each week? Mathematically, we show doubling by multiplying times 2. So this is telling us that our common ratio is 2. Now remember, you cannot combine those. You can't put it as 10 to the x, okay? Because 5 doesn't have the exponent x. So this could just chill as 5 times 2 to the x. All right, so now let's check it out with the geometric sequences. All right, so with this sequence, Remember how a1 is our starting value? Well, can't, can't we just call that our initial value? And that's 5. We know what that is. So I'm going to say that a sub n is equal to the number 5. All right, and then we have our r. So our r is that common ratio. Well, we know our common ratio. It's 2. So see, we, we used the same language with geometric sequences as we did with exponentials. And the reason for that is because they're the same thing. Now, the only difference here is the exponent, right? This one says x. This one says n minus 1. Um... It just kind of depends on which one you're looking for. Okay. So now on the try it, now they're actually giving us a number. All right. So first it says the initial number of subscribers is 10. So that's my, that's my A value. I should say A1. I'm going to be using sequences here. And then it says it's asking about week nine. Okay. So first, let's write our equation out. So I know my equation says a sub n. My initial subscribers is changing from 5 to 10. But everything else is staying the same. So there's our, our formula for this. So if I'm finding it on week 9, what I'm doing is I'm finding a sub, a sub 9. All right? So where the n is in my formula, I'm replacing that with a 9. Now, 9 minus 1 up here is 8. So really what I'm doing is I'm doing 10 times 2 to the 8th. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Desmos to help me to do this formula, okay? Now, if you're using a different calculator other than Desmos, 
you need to make sure to put grouping symbols around the 2 to the 8th. Okay, so that would be 2,560. Now remember, that's kind of a word problem. You should probably maybe answer it in a word solution. I'm not that picky on this one, though. It's not like a super word problem. I just think it looks nice to answer it in words. So the number of subscribers to the blog would be 2,560 in week 9. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, that is geometric sequences and exponential functions. Until next time.